Seminole County has access to two of the most important natural treasures in the state. The Wakaiva River is one of just two rivers in Florida designated as a national wild and scenic river for its outstanding scenery, recreation, and wildlife. And the St. John's is Florida's most significant river for commercial and recreational use. These and other water bodies benefit the county by providing numerous recreational and tourism opportunities. Improper fertilization of our lawns and landscapes results in excessive nutrient loads in our waterways. High levels of nitrogen and phosphorus can lead to abnormal algae blooms in our rivers and lakes, impairing the natural balance of our ecosystem. Negative impacts can include loss of recreational activities, fish kills, and even human health alerts being issued. Hi, I'm Tina McIntyre, Florida Friendly Landscaping Agent at the University of Florida IFAS Extension in Seminole County. You and your lawn and landscape co-workers are integral in providing information to our Seminole County residents regarding proper fertilization of their turf grass and lawns. In this short video, we will give you the confidence and education that you need to provide them with information, answer any of their questions, and guide them to the products that are suitable for what they're looking for, both to have lush landscape and protect our Seminole County waterways. Do not fertilize lawns with nitrogen or phosphorus between June 1st and September 30th. One of the primary pathways for fertilizer pollution to enter our waterways occurs after heavy rain when stormwater runoff carries fertilizer down the storm sewers and into our lakes and streams. Seminole County's restricted period for fertilizer runs from June 1st through September 30th. So that's our summertime season and it's really only applying to nitrogen and phosphorus, which means that you can use lots of other nutrients such as potassium, iron, manganese, and magnesium. This product here has lots of those types of nutrients that are totally fine and acceptable during our summertime for a quick greenup. Hi, I just moved into a home here in Seminole County and I heard we have fertilizer restrictions. Do they apply to me? Yeah, so this fertilizer ordinance is countywide. So this applies to all of our turf grass and our landscape beds. So that's gonna be your trees, your shrubs, everything like that is applicable. We do also apply it to within the 15 feet of any water body, that's a stormwater pond, lake, stream, culvert, canal, things like that. So no fertilizing within 15 feet of any water body. And then we also have exemptions, which include anything edible. So our fruit trees, our vegetable gardens, herb gardens, things like that are exempt from this ordinance. Choose slow release nitrogen, 65% or greater for turf grass in the spring and fall. In springtime, in March through May, or in fall, October and November, we recommend customers select a 65% or more slow release nitrogen product. So how do I know if this fertilizer has enough slow release nitrogen? Yeah, so we recommend 65% or more slow release nitrogen. The way to find out is to just look at the front of the bag and see if there's any specifications that says contain 65% slow release nitrogen or whatever percent slow release that specific product is. If it doesn't have it on the front of the bag, then you wanna look at the back of the bag at the label and do a quick calculation to figure out how much slow release nitrogen is in that product. Always choose a lawn fertilizer with 0% phosphorus. Most Florida soils are rich in phosphorus. Adding more of it can contribute to the nutrient pollution in our waterways. Avoid phosphorus in fertilizers, only adding it if a soil test determines that it is needed. What else do I need to know about using fertilizer in an environmentally friendly way? So although we want lush yards and gardens, we also want to be mindful not to pollute our precious waterways. So we wanna make sure that we're never fertilizing 24 hours before a rain event, if there's a named storm or hurricane coming our way, or if the soils are wet or saturated. We wanna sweep up fertilizer on pavement. So using your deflector shield to make sure that you're not getting any fertilizer on the pavement to begin with, but if you do get it on a paved surface, such as a driveway or road, that you're sweeping that up and applying it either to the tar turf 
or back into the bag. Keep grass clippings on your yard away from storm drains. And finally, if you use reclaimed water to irrigate, your water already has that nitrogen and phosphorus in it. So you likely need less fertilizer purchased from the store, or you might need no fertilizer at all. Any education you and your coworkers can provide to our Seminole County residents regarding proper fertilization in our fertilizer ordinance or product selection can really help us have lush, beautiful landscapes while protecting our wonderful waterways. To learn more about our county ordinance, visit FertilizeFlorida.com.